All right, welcome back to beginning beekeeping in Texas. So what are we doing today? We are doing a queen introduction. I have my queen introduction spray. You fill this up with one to one. And um, you put uh, the prescribed amount of ProHealth in there. I think it's like four tablespoons for that little thing. So it really masks for scent. Um, so what we're doing, this, this is Ashley's hive. Um, she's going to pick it up in the spring, but I noticed that they are queenless. And they're getting a little bit angry. So we're trying to fix that. And this is just after a storm. So you can see there what's going on I like to get them all off the lid some people go oh well that makes them all angry it's like well a little but you have a queen introduction spray so what the queen introduction spray does is it masks their alarm pheromones and it'll mask her pheromones Here we have our queen from Texas Bee Supply. So what we're going to do is just introduce this queen and uh, see what goes. First of all, let's see how they react to her. Still cleaning up the sugar water I put down there. Starting to react to her. Now these ladies are hopelessly queenless. No eggs anywhere. No cups. That I'm aware of. Probably should check one more time. GoPro and the holster it's on is all black so we really don't like that but they're being okay I haven't smoked them you're seeing this as I see it someone's piping you hear that So let me dig through this hive real quick, make sure we don't have a, a virgin in here. I'll be right back. So I checked through the hive. They are not, um, I don't see anything. They basically backfill everything that could be brewed. Honey, and nectar. You see they are not stinging the cage. You might not be able to hear me because they're all over the camera but here's another way to tell so you can brush them off and they move they're not aggressive they're excited they want this queen they're not stinging see so I'm gonna let them release her I believe I'm not gonna take a chance because this is one of the last Queens of uh, this year I believe that we're gonna get in here and otherwise I gotta get a $70 Queen from uh, Olivares in uh, Hawaii so 
I kind of want to avoid that. So what I try to do, we can just do it this way probably. You can see I marked the other queen. This is what I do, I mark a frame just to get all the dab of paint off. And they're just trying to feed her, I think. I don't really want any bees to die with me doing this. So you get it right in there. And it is summer. So they're not really under any risk of her freezing or you know, dying like that. So you want to have this up. So if an attendant dies, they're going to go to the bottom of this cage and they can get her out and she'll leave. That's what you want. So I believe that was her piping, which is a good sign. That's her establishing her uh, queenliness, basically. That's her saying, hey, follow me, listen to me. I'm your queen. And hopefully they'll get in line and uh, this hive should calm down. It's already kind of calmed down. It's not attacking me. It's Now it's kind of just hovering around and seeing who's here. So that's a good sign. So we'll hit them one more time with some spray, calm them down. Normally the queen injection spray, I'll direct or release the queen. But that is like if I have queens on backup or if I have a queen that I think will do well in a hive and I have another queen that I've, you know, one of my queens in the wings. But that is not the case here. So we must be cautious. So let's try not to kill anybody as we drop this. So you kind of kind of get your get your thing going where it's squared up. What I like to do is kind of go out in a little more than you need to. Just slide it out. See that? So I don't want to do it again, but I hope you saw it. So you do it up a little bit so the lip will be here. And you just kind of pull it forward. Or you can kind of tap gently and they will move. But you see here's the queen here. Right in the middle. That's where you want it. Um, you want the boxes. You want as few boxes as possible to spread her pheromones around. You want her in the middle of the hive to also increase the... Uh, the distribution of pheromones. Pheromones is key here because that will pull them into accepting her. If her pheromones have not gotten to all the workers or um, they don't know she's there, like if you have a giant hive and they may, I mean, the, the, you might introduce her in the bottom and at the top, they might not really be aware they have a queen. Always a good idea to try to get it as small of a box as possible. Increase the airflow of, of queen or increase the uh, permeation of uh, pheromones. And that's it. Like I said, I would love to, I would love to open release her today, but we'll come back um, today's Friday afternoon. We'll come back maybe uh, Sunday afternoon and see if they have accepted her. They've already started calming down. They're not attacking me. They're just kind of hovering and looking. All right. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Um, hit the notifications. really helps me out. Um, thanks again.